Yeah, I'm Tadeusz Malinski uh, from Ohio University uh, and I just presented the lecture of the International Academy of Cardiology uh, and the lecture was about application of the nanomedical technology uh, to study or to estimate uh, dysfunction of uh, endothelial cells and dysfunction of the cardiovascular system. And um, we have developed in our labs in Ohio, uh, we develop uh, nanomedical systems of very, very small uh, dimension, smaller than about 300 nanometers, uh, to be used for the study of the uh, cardiovascular uh, system. These devices, mainly sensors, can be implanted in the cardiovascular system and used to measure in vivo uh, or in vitro, in situ, the release of very small but vital molecules for the function of the cardiovascular system. And uh, uh, in the real, near real time, about uh, microseconds, uh, based on these measurements, which can be done in the single cells also, uh, we can look into the beginning of the processes which uh, may lead to uh, dysfunction of the uh, cardiovascular system, dysfunction uh, which can be seen finally as a, or may lead to uh, cardiac diseases like heart attack and stroke and uh, atherosclerosis and several fundamental or most severe diseases of the, uh, our civilization. And um, uh, we study uh, really how, what molecules really can trigger the disease and what is the, what is the beginning. Uh, there are small molecules and like nitric oxide, uh, like oxygen, like superoxide, like peroxynitrite, uh, they have a different role, signaling role as well as a uh, some of them, like oxide, can prevent the adhesion. Uh, therefore, their role is vital for the proper function of the small molecules, is vital for the proper function of the cardiovascular system. And uh, particularly two molecules, nitric oxide, which uh, uh, is, plays a vital signaling role, means uh, tells vessels, you know, how when relax and enlarge, in a large diameter at the higher flow of the blood, as well as uh, nitric oxide play important role preventing adhesion of uh, many entities in blood, including, of course, uh, platelets, as well as uh, uh, bacteria, as well as uh, cancer cells and many others. Means that the two function of uh, of endothelium, functional endothelium, in the releasing nitric oxide is, is vital for the proper function of the entire cardiovascular system. And of course, this function can change uh, steadily with age, as well as uh, some environmental and genetic factors can influence the system, uh, that we may have uh, uh, shortage in the production of this vital molecules, nitric oxide, and extend excess production of the molecules which we consider as a very, very toxic for uh, the cardiovascular system. And primarily the molecules, these molecules are uh, superoxide and particularly peroxynitrite, which is generated with the reaction of nitric oxide and superoxide. Peroxynitrite, when generated, you know, can affect, affect the uh, function of enzyme, uh, uh, can affect the DNA, and uh, can uh, also lead to uh, the 
necrosis of, 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 of systems and uh, therefore this peroxynitrite can generate uh, the casca cascade of event which is, may lead to the different diseases including the heart attack uh, and, and hypertension and atherosclerosis and, and others. Uh, but what we discover and is of very high importance, we believe it is the not this very good molecule, nitric oxide, and this bad molecule, peroxynitrite, uh, is what concentration are generated in the vascular system. It's important what is the relation as the amount or concentration between this, these two. Therefore, we introduce a special scale of um, which te based on which we can use the system um, to predict uh, uh, how uh, what is or to diagnose what is the status of our cardiovascular system and it can be done on single cell and uh, can be uh, extrapolated to long-term function of the cardiovascular system and uh, this is important uh, especially when we can do it in the very early stage of dysfunction because we can predict or diagnose in w which direction the system is going therefore we can uh, design uh, early system of interventions or treatment which can restore at least partially the, the function of the cardiovascular system and to, to uh, have a, uh, which is related of course to the longevity. Uh, we find very, very that correlation between the ratio of nitric oxide to peroxide nitrate and longevity. Uh, and uh, therefore any small even restoration of the function or restoration of this ratio okay will uh, lead to extent uh, of the life and but diagnostic purpose of the studies uh, you know for early cardiovascular uh, dysfunction i think uh, the most important feature of our research